All right, so I'm gonna be showing how to open up uh, somewhat just to quickly look inside this time capsule, uh, model A1355. Okay, so first thing, um, the customer already kind of had this stuff torn out, I guess, but you wanna remove this rubber piece um, it helps if you use some heat, but basically you would peel this rubber piece out from here, okay? Next thing you're going to do, you got to remove all the little screws. Um, I don't know if there were extra screws in here, but what I saw, um, we were using a JS one but there was two screws here, one here, another one down here, so four on this side, and then you had one here, one here, and then there was one here and one here. But uh, I have a feeling there might have been a screw here and here, and they probably just lost it. This piece, I don't think it's supposed to be on there. I don't know where this came from. Maybe they were using it to pry up the thing. Um, but what I did was I just got a uh, paper clip, and then I used um, pliers, needle nose pliers, to kind of just grab one end and then kind of roll it into this shape. So you have like this hook, okay? And then what you want to do, um, so this side, uh, you want to be careful because there's a fan and it um, is connected to the motherboard. So you want to go from the back here and then you get the hook that you have, okay? You can shape this to be a better handle or a ring or something so you have an easier way to pull. But basically you hold this down and then you just pull up on this. So you want to be careful, but pull up on it. It can be really tough, but there we go. And there you go. So you can see we use this vent hole to pull it up. And then you can swing this over and you can see the connector here. So if you really wanted to, you can remove the uh, fan connector here. Um, I don't know why, but their um, charge port here was like twisted weird and then it wouldn't go in. So I put that back in and realigned it. All right, maybe they tried to replace it themselves. You can see the SATA hard drive in here that you can get to. If you want to see a video on how to replace this, I'm not going to do it because the customer just needed me to fix the charge port. So I don't want to mess around with other stuff, but this looks like a very standard SATA uh, hard drive connection. Um, you can probably even put an SSD in here as well. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm going to put this back together. And then if you want to figure that out, um, there's probably other videos online, but this is more just to show how to get into it. And yeah, because I think other place, other videos don't show how to open it up as easily. All right. Anyways, we're just going to get all the screws back in, um, that at least the ones that they had here. So I'm going to put the screws back that they had, and then we're going to, I'm just going to give it back to the customer before the charge port was like crooked and wouldn't even fit. Um, right. Like, I don't know, I guess somebody opened it and didn't put it back right. But other than that, that's pretty much all there is to this. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. I know I just kind of opened it and didn't really show how to replace the hard drive or anything. But again, hopefully at least it showed you an easier way to open this thing up. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If this video helped you out, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this fight.